Yonde unveils the first electric car in Nigeria, Yonde Kona. Welcome back guys. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and let us learn together. Wow, it's finally here. The fourth against it. And more importantly, Mr. President, in the economic sense, Nigeria is an oil producing country. We cannot sit here as a parliament to be encouraging something that will hurt our own economy. It should be our responsibility to do everything to frustrate electric, car, electric cars so that we'll be able to sell our oil and gas. I can never quarrel with my leaders and my friends. However, 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 I will withdraw the bill, but I want you to think. In a few years' time, combustion engine cars will not be manufactured in the world anymore. They're going to stop all manufacturing, whether you like it or not. Okay, that is fine. Wait, 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 wait. Sir. These cars will not be manufactured. I drive an electric car in Abuja. I own one for five years. I charge it with solar power. It has never had a problem for five years. I own a Tesla, and I own a Tesla, and I drive a Tesla, and it's an amazing car. It is cheaper to manufacture, it is cheaper to maintain, and it is great for our country. For the sake of my colleagues, I will withdraw the bill. Peter, you do not belong in the 21st century, and I understand. I will withdraw the bill, and I hope you can improve as we move forward. Won the federal government against it, but it's finally here. The first locally assembled OEM electric vehicle in Nigeria. I'm really excited right now. As you know the popular saying, Niger know the carry last. You could see the swags that was added to the event. Hear the hype man. This kind in Nigeria. The first of its kind in our dear nation Nigeria. I tell you, we are seeing the future. We are running the future. I really do not understand the essence of the hype man though, but if you do, please leave your comment below. Was the availing about the governor or government or for the people to know about the product, its specifications and all? The event was filled with so many security aids, we could not even see the car itself. Cameramen were blocked by the governor's aids. One couldn't even get the experience accustomed to electric vehicles during the test drive. And why should that be? In my own opinion, Stallion Group got this very wrong. You should have also invited YouTubers like me. Maybe not for the sake of my channel, but because I know about electric vehicles and its technologies. For the record, I'm an awardee of the 10 outstanding young persons in Nigeria in the science and technological development category. That tells you that I know my onions, right? I've also been decorated with the African Under 40 Green Award because I'm in this space, pushing for renewable energy and electric mobility in Nigeria and Africa at large. I would like to use this medium to also thank you guys for your support both online and offline. Back to the subject. Stadium groups needed people in the tech and automobile space to grace this occasion. Have you heard about Olumayo Wayo daily of i 2 k Autos? who is one of the top automobile engineers helping many Nigerians maintain the performance of their vehicles. Have you also seen Tunde Onokoya of Auto Clinic NG, making sure you treat your car the right way? Have you heard of my Ghanaian friend, Gad Ashiago, the lead moderator of African EV, and my friend from Zimbabwe, Joseph of Electric Drive Africa? These are the people among other tech enthusiasts that are supposed to witness the event and bring real and useful information about the product to the people. We have seen Tesla now, we we'll watch Tesla's cars unveiled live. I'm sure these people I mentioned will not clap when you plug in a charger to the vehicle. We are just coming from the shocker we received from Nikola Motors, you get what I mean. By the way, if you guys want to learn more about EVs and renewable energy, please check the African EV podcast, it has a lot of materials on these topics. And the link is in the description below. 
You will also be interested to know that African EV is an organization of people from every African country who are working on the adoption and standardization of EVs across Africa. So, every EV manufacturer should pay attention to them. They know what they are doing. Please, let's get into the details. I mean, the real deal about the car. What's the range, please? The Kona EV is uncompromising newcomer that combines bold, roomy with impressive drive range. Kona has a range of 482 kilometers for one full charge battery. 482 kilometers is like from Lagos to Wari. Wari is like about 420 kilometers. So you can drive from Lagos to Wari and beyond with just one charge. What about the charge time? It takes it takes 9 hours 35 minutes to charge the Kona battery from 0 to 100%. The battery size? Battery capacity is 64 kilowatt hours. The warranty is for 5 years on the battery and the vehicle itself. Kona EV battery comes in two grades. The long range with 64 kilowatt hours and economy range with 32.9 kilowatt hertz. What we have in Nigeria is the long range, which is 64. The power of the motor. Kona has an output of 170 kilowatts with water-cooled battery, where the battery exchanges heat with radiator or AC. Driving pleasure, light and rigid body structure, easy in handling, Suspension delivers the right quality and secure handling. Advanced safety features like blind collision warning, high beam assist, six airbags, two for the passengers, two for the side and the curtain airbags. Head up display, wireless charging and the premium sound system. Also including the Apple CarPlay. Thank what about you. the battery technology? Does it have a safe driving capability? What about the price tag? Introductory price of this green revolution in Nigeria is going to be 24 million. 24 million what? 24 million. 24 million Naira. Please hold on. Let me convert that to dollars. Whoa. 63,000 dollars. Hello? Hello, Mr. Manish. Why does your car cost 24 million Naira? Do you know that amounts to like $63,000. Does Hyundai Kona have FSD, that is, full self driving? Did you say no? Can you summon this car using your mobile app? Whoa. Does it have a park assist? Oh my god. Have you seen Tesla Model Y before? Model Y cost $40,000, $45,000, and it is Tesla. Tesla is the king of EV on two planets. I mean, on Earth and on Mars. Wow. Are you telling Nigerians that the vehicle is only meant for the government and the politicians? Okay, thank you for this. I will get back to you. Hello, guys. I wouldn't be able to confirm these details about the specifications. Of course, the reason is due to this heavy security beef up. You get what I mean? But my conclusion is that Stellion Group and Hyundai has to go back to the drawing board, guys. Because Nigerians deserve an affordable electric vehicle. I'll see you in another video.